accounting for partnership firm and now the partner is dying okay so this is the accounting treatment for a partner who is no more in the partnership died okay so what we do we prepare again a ledger account which is in fact representing the executors of the deceased partner okay and the capital balance of the deceased partner will be transferred to the executor's account and then few more effects will be given over there for example you know partner or you know, means death can happen anytime so that partner can die anytime so death will not wait till the close of the period okay let the accounting year close and then the angel will come and the person will die no so the thing is that till the date of death whatsoever the months are will calculate profit for that period okay supposedly the person was alive that partner was alive in that year for four months so we will work out profit for those four months first and in those four months profit we will calculate the profit which belongs to the deceased partner obviously it's a logic okay so if the deceased partner's share is supposedly 3 by 5 four months profit will be calculated first multiply 3 by 5 will get the share of deceased partner in those four months profits so the executor's account will be credited with that share in profit of the deceased partner for that month then share in goodwill goodwill shall be calculated and the share of deceased partner will be credited in the executor's account obviously interest on capital will be there drawings will be debited or if there is control uh, uh, there is current account for uh, that deceased partner that would be debited as well or credited whatsoever or if there is interest on drawing will be debited in the executor's account all right and if there is any other item that belongs to in fact the deceased partner appearing in the balance sheet in terms of like reserves okay that belongs to the owners will be given to that deceased partner's executors by giving credit so the important thing over here is that we will look into the balance sheet in the balance sheet capital account is there current account is there which we know that belongs to the owners and if there is undistributed profit appearing in the balance sheet with any name reserves account supposedly so that will be transferred to the deceased partner's executor's account first okay because this is the right of that deceased partner and then if finally this is also important if finally the executor's account is giving us credit balance this is a loan liability for the entity and if it is giving debit balance yes then it is something recoverable there are chances that if that partner has withdrawn more than the credit side of the executor's account already he or she has drawn more than the credit balance then there would be obviously a debit balance appearing in that executor's t account which would be recoverable from them then okay so then that will become an asset and will be appearing in the balance sheet till the date the organization recovers all right so these are the tips for this module to remember thank you